Hello to all YouTubers and welcome back to yet another educational video by New York Stilo. I, first of all, I want to apologize, you know, for not being able to release a video, you know, in the past two and a half weeks. I spent some time in Montreal, uh, had three weeks vacation from work and was out on a business trip out there. But I'm back now and it's going to be video after video. going to give you guys a complete description of how to properly set up a 90 gallon system or at least the route in which I chose to go to. But in this particular video here, we're going to talk about reef aquarium filtration. Now, one of the most intimidating factors when I first got into this hobby was the fact that, you know, to have a successful reef aquarium with the best filtration possible would mean that you would have some sort of a sump refugium below. Now, this to me was intimidating in itself for the simple fact that it contains plumbing and, and tubing and some people use PVC and hard plumb the system and all of this was just extremely intimidating to me. But I'm here to tell you that this is absolutely the best type of filtration system that you can do when it comes to a marine aquarium and it's not that difficult to do. Once I did it for the first time, I mean, I've been in this hobby for a little over seven years and uh, I'm basically infatuated with the hobby and, and always trying to make uh, videos to bring you guys the best information possible. And so I've decided to make this video on reef aquarium filtration and offer you three different options here when it comes to having a sump refugium. All three are going to be completely different. Uh, you know, we're talking, we're going to talk a little bit about the price difference of all three. We're going to talk about building your own. We're going to talk about buying one from the uh, a manufacturer. And of course, uh, we're going to talk about a custom built sump done by a manufacturer, which, you know, I requested uh, to be done. And it's installed in the system, but not fully yet. Uh, in a future video, I will give a full detailed review on this trigger systems uh, custom sump. We're going to talk about pricing and all of that. But um, here is option number one. Now, when it comes to reef aquarium filtration, as I mentioned before, the best option that you can have is to have a sump refugium. Now, a sump in simple terms is basically a separate reservoir that allows you to have all of the equipment, uh, you know, below hidden from the main display, as you see here. And it's, it, it, it's, it offers so many benefits because you won't need to have uh, the heater in the main tank, uh, you know, the return pump, the skimmer pump and everything like that. All of this will be hidden in the sump. Now, the refugium, of course, is exactly what it is called, a refuge area for plants and animals that would otherwise become, be subjected to predation on your main display. So plants and animals which highly consume cal, um, not calcium, yes, calcium, but uh, all of these negative nutrients via the use of macroalgae, uh, you know, it's very important. I would not run a marine aquarium without the use of live rock, a protein skimmer, and a refugium. The benefits are just uh, too much. So with this type of, of sump refugium that you're looking at here, now, this is a do-it-yourself sump refugium, and it is probably the most inexpensive option that you have here when it comes to having your own reservoir below. Now, this sump refugium here was built by me uh, a little over three years ago, and I do have a four-part video series on this particular sump refugium. I didn't document how I built it, and that was because it was my very first video so if you guys go check it out it's got a lot of views like over 30,000 views but you know I was a little shy in the camera and stuff and as you make these videos you know you, you really get comfortable with uh, talking about you know some refugiums and stuff like that so you know this particular sump here I could tell you I spent roughly around 150 bucks to build a lot less inexpensive uh, to build or, or to have than say a manufactured uh, sump refugium, which we're going to get to in a little bit here. So this one here, uh, I, it probably would have cost me a lot less money, maybe around a hundred and a hundred bucks, 
if I had not uh, broken several pieces of glass uh, building the Sumperfugium. But it's rather easy to do, and there are many videos on YouTube that help you, you know, decide what direction you want to go to uh, when it comes to building your own. I can tell you that ever since I started making video, there's more than 30 of you who have taken this design and have made it your own. And I'm very happy about that because that means to me that I'm getting my message across to you guys. You know, it's very simple, works extremely easily, and the first stage, of course, is used as a bubble trap, you know, where the water travels down into it and then, you know, travels into the sump refugium area through the middle gap here. Uh, we're going to zoom in here. So basically, the piece that is located on top here is just intended to... Uh, you know, keep the bubbles that travel to the surface in that first stage, therefore eliminating and preventing less bubbles into traveling into the second stage, which is the refugium stage. Now, I ran this filter for more than uh, a year and a half uh, with this 90 gallon system, and since I've decided to upgrade, because there is one thing about this hobby that is very important. Uh, for me to let you guys know is that if you're not happy with your system, you're going to get, you know, you're going to be discontent with the overall system and it's just going to be not as enthusiastic as it should be. If you're happy with what you're done, uh, with what I've done here, and we're going to get into that. Uh, you're going to be more into the hobby. You're going to love your system more. And so a very inexpensive option here when it comes to this one of course you can see the difference here it's made out of glass and glass tends tends to have a uh, you know a green uh, tint to it compared to that of acrylic or starfire glass now a very inexpensive to do i used one eighth inch of glass and it's really sturdy i mean this some refugium went through hell and back i mean it's it suffered all kinds of abuse, uh, vibrating pumps and the such. And uh, if you have any questions on it or are interested in building your own, uh, take a look at my four-part video series so you can see how it works. And maybe uh, send me a couple of messages and I'll probably give you a couple of tips on how to build it. But, you know, your second option here would be for you to buy a sump refugium that is made by a manufacturer. Now, this one here is made by Aquion. It's the Proflex Sump Refugium model number four. Now, I had in mind uh, keeping this Sump Refugium. However, it does happen. I'm not saying that Aquion is not a good company. It is an absolutely a good company. And it, it, this Sump Refugium will work for a lot of you. And it's an inexpensive choice here because I paid, I believe it was $242 shipped and everything for this sump refugium. However, in this case, this sump refugium actually has a leak in the back. And so I've since contacted, you know, uh, the, the local fish store. Well, not a local fish store because I purchased it online, but that retailer. And so they're actually sending me a box and I'm going to ship it back to them. Now, I have not had the time to do this because I spent two weeks in Mon two and a half weeks in Montreal. But uh, this sump refugium works great. Only difference is that in this particular sump refugium, the protein skimmer will be in the end. But don't don't get intimidated by that factor. Uh, for the simple fact that a lot, I get a lot of questions about this particular sump refugium. You know, won't it suck up all the copods and life? You know, before it returns into the main display, the truth is that your return pump will kill. The majority of these uh, macro critters, you know, micro and macro critters, uh, you know, a fauna in your uh, marine aquarium. So, you know, having the 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 uh, protein skimmer in the in the last stage, you know, will not. You're not gonna. You know, when it comes to differentiating a sump refu a refugium below versus that of a refugium in the hang on the back and i covered this in a video uh, you guys can get more information on that but do not get intimidated by it if you really have a uh problem with you know when it comes to funds and stuff like that th this is a a sump refugium that i do recommend i really do i mean you know it works differently uh, than 
say my trigger system, which we're going to get into in a minute, but it's a good some refugium and I did do a two part video review on it. So if you guys want to go take a look at that, uh, certainly uh, scroll through the list of videos that I have in my in my video list on the channel itself. Now, when it comes to me being happy about what I've done here, your last choice would be for you to purchase a custom refugium. Now, it is very important for me to state this about reef aquarium filtration. It is best to have yourself the protein skimmer that you will choose for your system in hand before you decide on which sumprefugium you want to do. Before you decide to build your own sumprefugium, before you decide to buy one from the manufacturer or have one custom made for you. Because in the end, a protein skimmer is going to be the heart of your filtration system. And so you definitely want to build the sumprefugium around the protein skimmer. In this particular case, and we're gonna get a little closer here. Let me just slide this chair closer. I've gone ahead and contacted uh, Trigger Systems and purchased myself this sumprefugium. Now this is the most expensive out of the three. You know, certainly building your own can save you some money. Uh, you know, buying one that's already built from the manufacturer uh, can be less expensive. But when you contact the manufacturer and you have the correct specifications that you want for your sumprefugium, you're going to be completely happy with it. And that's what I've done here. Now, this one is by Trigger Systems. It's a lot sturdier than that of the Aquion because it uses a quarter of an inch a cast acrylic, whereas the Aquion model here uses one eighth of an inch. And it seems to be a little flimsy here. You can see that I can move it easily with my fingers, you know, but when it comes to the trigger system one, we're talking quality here. Of course, it's going to be a lot more expensive. And so I was talking about building it around your, your skimmer, of course, because it's the heart of your filtration system. In this case, I have an Aqua C EV240 uh, working in this 90 gallon system, which is going to be SPS dominated. I'm really going to work really hard to try to make this system look better than the 30 gallon nano system. And, uh, you know, we're going to do so many videos talking about aquascaping. I have to get the rock uh, and everything else, the sand. And we're just going to cover everything in detail. I will also cover in, in the near future, within the next couple of days, how I plumb this system so that you guys are not shy about getting yourselves into this type of filtration system. Absolutely the best that you can get when it comes to marine aquariums. So this particular sumprefugium, quarter of an inch cast acrylic, has a Eurobray style border around the top of it, uh, you know, offering it more support, a lot sturdier, and best of all, I was able to get the right specifications uh, for this sumprefugium in order for me to add this Aqua C EV uh, 240. Now I will do a full review on this particular sumprefugium. You know, it has uh, also uh, probe holders here in the back. You can see it there. So you can actually house your probes. I have to do a lot more to this system. I have to add a fan uh, to the back of it to give it some you know, to keep the moisture out of the stand. Lots of things that still need to be done. And since I was in Montreal, of course, I wasn't able to do it, but I will document everything as promised and we'll continue to make videos for you guys. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Your choice of what you decide that you want to do, whether you want to build your own, uh, buy one from the manufacturer or buy one custom build from the manufacturer. Uh, this is my personal choice because you, I can definitely utilize uh, the entire space inside of the stand. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to move the sumprefugium a little bit uh, to the left so that I can have the reactors. Another great feature about this sumprefugium I wanted to cover quickly is that um, here I can put the carbon, as you can see here. So um, I'm going to give it a full detailed uh, video review on this one. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Sorry for uh, taking so long. But, um, you know, I will continue to make videos, guys. Uh, this is New York Stilo signing out. Your choice, guys.
any questions, comments, concerns, you know, uh, disagreements, uh, post your uh, comments down below. Private message me, post it on my channel, uh, whichever way. Don't forget to rate my videos, guys. This is New York Stilo signing out. Peace.